Now, a celebration of Blackburn's role in manufacturing in the northwest is underway in the Lancashire town this weekend. The National Festival of Making is in its second year and boasts more than 100 free events for people to enjoy. Well, our reporter, Raid Smith, went for a look around. This is a new kind of festival for a new age of making. Push it. That's it. Crafts of the past in the hands of the future. A lot of these handmade processes are kind of being replaced by computer-driven processes, so I think it's important to remind people how it started with handcraft, and um, it's also quite fun to do everything by hand as well. Artists, designers and manufacturers alongside small-scale makers. This isn't like done nowadays and people are still doing it. So it can get more younger people into it because now more technology is being used. I don't normally do such things because I'm normally on the phone playing games. I've never worked with metal before so I'm really enjoying it. Old crafts becoming new skills. Whether they develop a small business or do it as a hobby, um, we just think it's, it's so important in this day and age that people are learning skills and um, getting that real sense of satisfaction from making. Entertainers making the best of the bonus sunshine. You might think it's pretty bold for Blackburn to host the National Festival of Making, but when it comes to manufacturing, this town tops all others. One in five people here are employed in making and manufacturing, which is twice the national average. Organisers believe this event shows that more of us care where things are made. Doing things with your hands, craft, and all of those things are happening in Blackburn, whether it's, whether it's making part of a jet engine or, or, or whether it's making a pie. You know, all of those things are happening here and growing. This is Blackburn at its best, making the most of the town's past for everyone here today. Marit Smith, BBC Northwest Tonight, Blackburn. Looks great, doesn't it? Sport then and...